Alright, this is a weekly reading for Capricorn. Um, we're going to start off with a few of the songs um, for this week's drawing that I channeled while drawing the cards. Um, Weezer, We Are All on Drugs, Jet, Rip It Up, um, Hender, Loaded and Alone, um, Deftones, Liberian. I don't know, I'm dyslexic, I'm sorry. Um, Slayer, Angel, and the Jets, Crush on You. So there is going to be a few that I'm going to add to that, for sure, to make ten. I think six more, yeah, six, um, to make it an even ten for you. Anyway, as you know, this week you feel like the Nine of Swords. Anxiety over a loved one, worry, concerned, quarrel, um, or other major unhappiness, miscarriage, despair, suffering, sometimes death, um, or disillusionment. So, um, yeah, it's just gonna be a little bit too much to take for you this week. Could be a lot of forces. Um, or opposing forces, for sure, that are just giving you anxiety. And then we have the week's theme is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is artistry, quickness of thought, um, modesty, straight talk, great personal effect for craft or art or talents. So, um, you could be like a speaker, you could be a boss, a leader, so something that requires you to talk to a, a group of people, a large, um, room of people, or like higher ups, like on a, on a personal level. Um, so yeah, you might be doing a lot of that this week. And then we have, oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's a new camera setup, so yeah, I had to move my other station because, you know, my other table got wet, so what are you going to do? Um, the challenge for this week is going to be the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is um, the king of the hill, a brave person facing incredible odds. Um business or um, competition, debate, success, and victory. So that could be a real challenge for you to have victory or success in something that's very um, personal to you or a project that took a lot of work for you or just on the level of personal like growth. It could be very important. Um, but it could also be very stressful, very painful, and a lot of stuff you're going through. Um, so, success might be a little bit at odds with you this week. And then we have a lesson to remember. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, um, fearing the consequence of a new project, worry and embarrassment, looking into the infinite. So, um... Maybe this this has been an ongoing thing, which probably has, um, it's kind of like that elusive thing that keeps kind of getting away from you. And, you know, I, I've been doing your weekly readings for a while now. Sometimes you have it, Capricorn, and sometimes you don't. Um, and you feel like this is going to be a, one of those elusive moments where you don't have a handle on it. Um, so, hmm, let's see. So, the lesson of the week is going to be the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is usually a very caring, um, spirit, a uh, very caring energy. Um, you know, it's kind of like a motherly kind of loving energy. So, um, a warm, loving person, absent-minded, but a unique vision, a great parent or friend, 
a onslaught after um, advisor, practical, honest, and happy, poetic, and loved. So, you know, whatever happens, you know, you will have the knowledge that you um, will have coming to you. It's probably not going to be the results that you wanted, like you feared, but it's also not going to be as bad as you thought. You're kind of going to be on the middle of the road, and you're going to have to make compromises. Um, I think if it's going to be like anything that's going to be debate worthy, it has to be a compromise because that's how you win. It wouldn't be a fair fight if like there wasn't a compromise in something. So, um, you might want to try that and see if you can at least gain ground if it's like a project in like a debate. Or if you're talking to a lot of people, you might want to hear some people out and come up with better ideas. Um, and better demonstrations, um, on what exactly you want to achieve. Um, I used to be on debate, so people would fear me, um, because I, I kind of knew what I wanted to say before I said it, and I knew what angle I was going to take on it, and, um, what, what angle I would compromise, if that makes sense. Um, in a great argument, you always have to know where you're going with the argument as well as the compromise. So then the other side's kind of blindsided by the fact that you can steer that conversation into a, you know, into a wall and miss it, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to come up with a compromise that you're willing to take. Not a compromise that you're kind of like uh, at odds with, like, what am I gaining from this? You kind of have to know every angle. Um, and then that's how you learn and you grow and you gain what you need. Anyway, your gift this week is going to be the Emperor energy. Very Aries, very um, astute for sure. Um, the Emperor is um, higher than Kings. More, more worldly, um, wise, confident, a symbol of stability, leadership, as well as a male me member of the family. Um, logic above emotion, um, the giver of aid and comfort, sometimes a very um, expressive person or a very dominant person. So, yeah. So... You're going to have quite, quite a week. Um, so, yeah. You just had to make sure that you do know where you need to be. Um, because it is a growth thing, and I think it's very important, especially with your weekly readings. You kind of gain some, and you lose some, and then you're back at square one again, or you step forward twice, and then you have to go back once. Um, so gaining ground, Capricorn, I think that should be the mode of the week for you. Just so you can feel fulfilled in some way, shape, or form. And that would be building for your own self-esteem and possibly your own energy so your vibrations are higher. Um, anyway, with that, I will be adding a few songs to your list and, um, I will see you on the next reading, uh, Capricorn. Bye now.